So you want to know more about Hanukkah, right? Me too. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? Morty Mouse in the house and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be digging in on what Hanukkah is all about. But before we get started, let us know in the comments below what are some of the things that you currently know about Hanukkah. Also, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more content like this. So Hanukkah. We should first start with the Hebrew meaning of the word and its actual pronunciation. It means dedication, which we're going to talk more about a little bit later. In Hebrew, it's also pronounced, hold on, give me a second, Hanukkah not Chanukah, which I think a lot of people do think. I think I've heard that before as well. And it's probably pronounced differently than what I said, but I, hopefully I did okay. And that's probably the best you're gonna get from me right now. So why is it celebrated? Judah the Maccabee and a small band of Jews kicked some Greek butt, that's why. Oh really, that's really what happened. In more seriousness, they really did beat one of the toughest and most battle-tested militaries in the world at the time. And those Greeks were actually the Seleucids. I hope I'm saying that right as well. This was second century BC and the Holy Land was actually run by these Syrian Greeks. Now the Seleucids, they wanted the people of Israel to assimilate to their Greek culture. You will be assimilated. And of course they wanted them to give up their religious beliefs. And when I say wanted, I mean they were actually forcing the Jewish people, the people of Israel, to assimilate to this Greek culture. They wanted them to give up the religion. They were not going to take no for an answer. Now with this victory, Judah and the people of Israel reclaimed the Holy Temple in Jerusalem and they rededicated it back to the service of God. See, there's that dedication. That's kind of where it comes back in. I told you we'd get it. Now this is also where the menorah comes in play. The menorah is basically a seven branched candle holder. Now back to the temple of Jerusalem, the people of Israel wanted to light the temple's menorah, but they actually only had a one day supply of olive oil. And despite this fact, the oil lasted eight days. It was a miracle, which is why there are eight days of Hanukkah to celebrate this miracle. But Morty, how was it celebrated? Well, I'm glad you asked. There are eight nights celebrated, as I stated before, and each night they light a candle. And they'll actually use the candle that was lit the previous night to light the new candle. There are songs and special blessings and a lot of food fried in oils, which is something that I know that I personally would love. And it usually takes place in December, but it really depends on the Hebrew calendar. This year in 2018, it takes place from December 2nd through December 10th. Also keep in mind that it's not the most important Jewish holiday, but it's definitely the most well-known. And that, my friends, is the truth about Hanukkah. What did I miss? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Morty Mouse. I'll see you later, or I'll see you at another time.